if you guys want to see this pink powder matte look keep watching and subscribe thank you <laughs>
<laughs> what brush is this? My Ruby Kisses eyeshadow fluffy brush. And I'm going to take the color Sleepover in the Snap Shadow 4 palette. And I'm going to go all over that lid. I'm going to make sure you do small strokes. You know, patting it in. Because this is a matte color. You have to pat it in. Pat it in. You can add. You can build it up until your intensity how you know how bright you want it but i want this kind of bright and white looking so i'm just going to keep adding on and blending in adding on and blending in adding on and blending in just don't add it on you know you gotta blend it in all over your lid so i'm going under that crease with the color sleepover and i'm just going to blend it out blend it out Put everything on the lid and blend out. Blending is very important and I'm glad that I know that now because I didn't know that back in the day. My eyeshadow used to be terrible. I wish I would have inserted a clip. Y'all would scream. <laughs> but blend that eyeshadow out, girl. Blend it out. Blending is very important. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but blending is your best friend. Blend it out. If you don't blend, you don't win. Period. Blend, period. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep blending that lid. Hey. <laughs> I was feeling myself. Blend it out. I think I've been listening to Summer Walker. So now I'm going to go on my Fenty. Listen, this foundation is like butter. This is the 50 Pro Filter in the number 420. My skin has been so freaking dry. In the winter time, I got to sleep with Vaseline on my face now. This is different. And I'm going to go in with my Fenty foundation brush. And I'm telling you, the buffing is so dense. It's so good for blending and buffing. Not blending, but blending and buffing. But I'm, you know what I see? I'm buffing everywhere. And blending is important with your foundation too. I'm blending that out everywhere. Across my face. <laughs> blending everything just keep blending if you gotta blend for five minutes blend for five minutes until you don't see not a pore or anything like that this is gonna make your poreless you're not gonna see no pores with this foundation and this is what i like about the Fenty foundation blends it blends so good your face is gonna look like butter butter do you understand so just blend everything out blend out Blend out. Now I'm gonna go with my listen. I'm gonna go with my Maybelline, the full coverage under eye concealer in the color Honey in the number 30. I don't want to drag it, so I'm gonna just you know keep it under the eye. And if I do drag it, I'll drag it with a beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna put it under there halfway. I don't want to drag it down. I feel like when you drag it down, it give your face an oblong shape. I don't know. I don't want a long face. My face is fat, so I don't I don't want that look. So I'm gonna go with my Fenty sponge right now and I'm gonna blend that out. Sorry, I you guys can't see this part, but I hope <laughs> I moved the filler palette from in front of my face so y'all can see me blending it. But I'm just blending it right now, blending it back and forth. Get it under there. And this is very important to do so you won't get creases under it, so it won't turn wet. You know what I mean? So it's good to always add your concealer under there. And this is a good ass concealer. It's by Maybelline. It's the Superstay. And they do have the foundation with this one. Which one of the foundation is in my top top. But what we're going to do is blend, 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 blend. And keep blending under there. Same thing as I did on the other side. Do to the other side. Blend it out. I don't want it a little pizzazz, so people say, oh, you're using a whiter concealer. You should use a darker one. No, I shouldn't. I'm going to use this one because I want some pop. And anything I mess up here is fine because I can go over with my Sasha Buttercup. That's what I'm about to do now. So just keep blending. Keep blending. Going in with my Sasha Buttercup again in warm beige. I'm gonna go right under there. You see how the, the you know the concealer was lighter? You can always correct it with your satin powder. It's gonna tone it down and it's gonna blend it in. Put it 
put it right under there. Now I'm going to go with my trophy wife. Going with that trophy wife and my tear duct. I'm going to be using the Precision 220 brush in Fenty. I'm going to go right in with that trophy wife. And I'm so, so mad that y'all can't see the color payoff. Because y'all know trophy wife is so bright and so golden. And you guys can't see it in the video. And I'm so upset. But if y'all know what trophy wife looks like, y'all know that they lying on, this, on my camera. I use my back camera. I have an XR. I don't know why it's not picking up the color. But if y'all know Trophy Wife, that color is bright as hell. And they lying. Because I don't see it. At all. It's, so, it's such a golden ass color. So now, you know I put the lashes on. This is from my last collection. I want you guys to support me with that. But right now, I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter ever. You know it's Juvia's Place and you know it's in the color Nubia. This is my favorite. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just adding some to my cheeks. I'm going to add some to the bridge of my nose. My other cheek. My cupid's bow. The bottom of my chin. My forehead. And I'm going to just go and blend that out. Really quick. Blend it out. Put on my little. I got a little ass forehead. So I don't know why I'm putting it there. To add some. Like I got some there. <laughs> My forehead is tiny. I really don't have a forehead. Other side. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just use a little bit for this look because this is a soft glam look. So you don't want to go crazy with the highlighter. So I want to keep everything soft. To keep everything soft. I'm going to go in with my Cupid's bow. This is my favorite. Shout out to Juvia's Place. My favorite. Go under my chin. Go back and blend it out a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with the same as pencil that I use on my eye and Eden from the beauty supply store, and I'm gonna go over my lips. Go over my lips. Blend it in. Go over the lips, and then I'm gonna use this um, lip gloss. I wasn't even feeling this MDM flow. And the color is called Retro. This is a London brand. I really wasn't feeling it, so I changed it. I changed it. It's too bright. So I went in and put my NYX Butter Gloss on. And I put my NYX K Dollar. Yeah, I said Dollar Lip Gloss and Bubblegum. And I'm done with this look. <laughs> I'm done with this matte look. Girls, if you want to support me can like you can subscribe to me add a comment let me know what you guys want to see but this look is so nice it's powder it's pink it's a soft glam a night on a town date night wherever you want to go you can go with this look this is so pretty the lashes topped it off the lips topped it off i love the pink lips i love the pink eyes it's really nice thank you guys so much i'll be back with another one trying to see what I'm going to do but I want you girls to support me I'll subscribe back to you guys I love this look it's so so pretty look at that look at the eyes look at the, the lips the whole look comes together thank you so much